Oh, more this life. Some people just say inside Kiri Kiri for waiting they don't know about. This innocent guy now, he not get him for waiting happen, but right now, the day he did inside Kiri Kiri, he did for the place where he said they want for buy the guy. So, very dark man actually reach out to the guy, get information from him how the matter take day when they take put him for Kiri Kiri. My people, I don't want to talk the matter. Make we not come to repeat ourselves. Make we not hear from the very dark man. When he go do investigation concerning this guy, when they put for Kiri Kiri so, and he day de, where they for walk by him, decide for for Kiri Kiri where he go soon go the other side. My people, a lot of people there inside that Kiri Kiri now where they don't know one, they don't know two. They will go by them. My people. They could not sit down, they could not come here matter. Anybody where you know say you go fee help this guy, eh? Make could not reach out to us because the very dark man self, he don't equally pull hand for this matter. Make you see how he want to help this guy because a lot of people just say kiri kiri, they just buy for waiting, they don't even know nothing about. Make we all sit down, then we hear from the very dark man, the matter guy. All right, um, so yesterday we went to kiri kiri maximum prison because of the guy that me sentenced to death. For what he knows absolutely nothing about and to be honest it was a very very sad story which i'm going to tell and i believe a lot of people are going to learn from this story that's number one number two um i don't think we'll be able to do much for him but we'll try our possible best at least if we can try to not have him sentenced to death but maybe they can give him life imprisonment for the start because where he is now in the prison, he has been condemned. Condemned means say the few wake up one morning, just carry him, just come outside, just say okay. The people where they inside this prison, they don't too much. Where are the people where they did condemn? Come outside, pa 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 pa. And a lot of them, they were just in the wrong place at the wrong time, you know, or maybe the wrong place at the right time. So what happened yesterday? Um, when we got to Kiri Kiri Maximum, um, if you remember the guy Samson Ogotchuku away from the Boeing States, according to him, he said um, he was working in Anambra State, and then one of his friends called him that he should come to Lagos and he will secure him a job. And when he got to Lagos, that was when everything happened. Now, when we got there, then I asked him what happened. He should tell me the whole story. And then at the end of the day, I found out that illiteracy also played a very big role in why that guy is in prison. So what happened? When the guy told him to come from um, Anambra State to Lagos, the guy got him a job with a security company. The security company in um, Lagos here, I think it's called Koga, Koga Security Company. So they got him a job and they gave him a job in Lekki. Now, um, the person that called him to come, his name is Viviano Okonkwo, Viviano Nonso Okonkwo. He called them to come to Lagos and then took him to that security company. And the guy said, okay, do I need to do an interview? He said, no, don't worry. I know the head of the security. I will talk to him and I'll guarantee you a job. The only thing you need to say is that, please, I don't want to work anywhere else. I want to work in Lekki. It's Lekki that I want. So they went there, they spoke to the head of the security and they gave him 5,000 Naira so that it can make things easy for them. So they gave him this job in one place in Lekki. Right, lucky phase one. So, started working there. And one day, his madam came. And his madam saw that his friend that told him to come from Anambra State to Lagos. And the woman said, see, I don't like this guy here. You are security here. Stop bringing people to this house. The woman warned him. And then the woman left. Subsequently, the guy continued visiting against the woman's knowledge to the point where this guy slept in the woman's house two times against the woman's knowledge. Although he didn't sleep inside the house, he slept in the security part of the house. So one day, this guy came with four guys. That is the Viviano Okonkwo. He came to meet Samson Ogotukuigwe with four guys in the morning and told him that, let's go inside. So when they went inside, they asked him, how many people are in this compound? So from there, they went to his own security place and they carried knife and a baton. That was how they went inside the main house with Samson. They all they tied Samson's hand and they went inside the main house. So when they got inside the main house, um, please let me say that. Just me.
So when they got inside the main house, um, they brought the, the they went straight to the ogre's room. They brought the ogre outside. They brought the madam outside and the relative. They brought everybody outside. They collected money from everybody, and they carried some jewelries and they packed everything. And they now carried car one car from the house. So Nonso, which is the guy that brought something from Anambra State, now said something should go with them. Do you understand? That was how something followed them. They put something in the boots. They now drove to somewhere around Obalinde, I think, Shoprite, somewhere. They drove to around Aja Shoprite house, one Shoprite around Aja. So when they dropped him, they now gave him 100k and they now told him to run away. You understand? But people that saw when these people threw him out of the car and gave him 100k, they gathered the guy and they asked him what happened. Then he explained that this guy, I know this guy from village. This guy gave me a job and he mobilized people to come where I was working to come and rob. And that's how they carried me along and they dropped me here. And he told me that I should run back to Anambra. You understand? So people there now said, ah, run no, if you go back, they will arrest you. Some other people said, no problem, don't don't run. We all saw what happened, we'll follow you back to the place and we'll explain to them that this is what happened. They dropped you off and gave you money. So he said, okay. So the people followed him to the house. When they got to the house, the madam now started shouting, thief, thief, thief. Those people now ran away and left him. That was how police came. When police came, they charged the case to court. The woman said, um, this is the guy that robbed me. She was beating him in the station. And the guy kept on begging, now, madam, I did not rob you. The woman now said, but did I not tell you that you should not let this guy come into the house? Do you understand? That was when he knew that him, him himself had messed up, right? Not knowing that that's his friend was using this idea to see, to to survey the house all those time he was coming to sleep there they were using him as a tool for surveillance call the long story short the case was charged to court and when they got to court he didn't have a lawyer so the judge said okay we'll get you a government lawyer to defend you they brought government lawyer and they defended him the first day now when they now took him to remand him in the police station while the case continued then the other people's lawyer like the woman's lawyer now went to go and visit him, which is not supposed to happen. Like the complainant's lawyer went to go and visit him, visit him in prison and told him that, see, we want to help you. But the best way to help you is this. If the judge asks you if you know your madam, say no. Mind you, they trapped that car. That car that they stole everything and put it inside. That is Viviano Okonkwo. They trapped the car to where they were going to sell it and they arrested all of them. So while this thing was happening in court, they brought in all of them. Do you understand? So when they brought in all of them, that guy now representing the complainant, the lawyer representing the complainant, went to go and tell him that, see, if they ask you if you know this madam, your madam, say you don't know her. If they ask you if you know these guys, say you don't know them. That's the only thing that can save you. Then the guy said, okay. The guy now contacted his own lawyer that the government gave him, the government lawyer. Now contacted him and look at what this other person came to tell me. Do you understand? Then his lawyer now said, it's okay, it's okay, just say what he told you to say. So they got to court, uh, when it's time to talk, they asked him, do you know this woman that is his madam that employed him? He said, no. Do you know these guys that came to rob? He said, no. Do you understand? That was how they now passed judgment that it is only him that went to go and do the robbery. So the people were go rob, they don't deceive him, they let those ones go, madam go. Now they sentence him to buy. Now, me, I was thinking, okay, it's a case where they could not find the other people before. I don't know, say, they don't already find them. They don't carry them concord. And this boy don't deny people where we say supposed to indict. People where we say supposed to say, yes, now these people can rob. These are the people that held my hand. They tied my hand. They forced me. They have been coming to the house. I did not know that they were trying to survey the house. I did not know that this. I did not know that that. He denied them. He denied that he knows. He does not know them. Meanwhile, the man and the talk say, these people, I don't know them. Now him, I know. Now he's my security guard. So you see how everything done. Illiteracy. And boom, that was how only him is taking a fall for this. Now, what do we do? I don't know how the case won't take be, but we'll try to look for a way to appeal. We'll look for a way to appeal so that they cannot just carry him and go and buy him one day. Let's try to get live imprisonment first. It's a step from condemned to life imprisonment and i hope luck is on our side 
Now, so all the people will be saying, they'll just call you from some, hey, come with the chop life for years, start with your own, come. You're on your own. You better be careful of the people that you let to influence you. And education is important. School no be scam. School no be scam. Thank you very much. And I hope we try our best and may God help us. Peace and love. Don't play.